Thessaloniki is in today's northern Greece. It was named after Queen Thessalonica, a half-sister of Alexander the Great. Also known as Thessalonica, it was the capital of Macedonia, a region originally only the size of Greek Macedonia, which grew to overlap parts of several modern countries, North Macedonia, Greece, Bulgaria, Albania, Serbia and Kosovo. In this letter to a young church, Paul often refers to the return of Jesus and that Christians must live as if he's coming soon. Let's start in 1 Thessalonians 1. Who wrote the letter? What was their greeting? Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Did they praise this church? Was it a happy little church? We always thank God for all of you and pray for you constantly. As we pray to our God and Father about you, we think of your faithful work, your loving deeds, and the enduring hope you have because of our Lord Jesus Christ. How did the good news come to them? Was it by word and example? Did the Holy Spirit come in power? We know, brothers loved by God, that you're chosen, and that our good news came to you not in word only, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit, and with much assurance. You know what kind of men we showed ourselves to be among you for your sake. Did they imitate their message, and in turn become examples to other believers? You became imitators of us and of the Lord when you accepted the message that came from the Holy Spirit with joy in spite of great suffering. As a result, you became an example to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. Did the gospel spread because of them? Were they former idolaters? And because of you, the Lord's messages spread everywhere in those regions. Now the news of your faith in God is known all over the world, and we don't have to say a thing about it. Everyone's talking about how you welcomed us and how you turned away from idols to serve the true and living God. Were they also waiting for Christ to come and deliver us? and to wait for his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the wrath to come. This new church was enthusiastic for the gospel, and their example spread. Were they waiting for Christ to return? Are we? You decide. You decide.